These extensions maximize the power of ChatGPT and will unlock AI on your phone, any website you're on, and even feed it data past 2021. Put your phone down, give me five minutes because this is going to save you hours every single week. All right, so a lot of people that watch my channel are interested in the business opportunities that come from AI and their APIs. So I actually have a three-part series coming out on my channel next week talking about exactly that. In this series, I will be covering everything that you need to start an AI business from idea to execution. It is very, very specific, and you will walk away confident that you know everything that you need to do to start your very first AI business. So if you're looking forward to that, just make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and I'll see you there. But for today, I'm gonna to be sharing some chat GPT hacks that I have found very, very useful. Also, these tools are AI businesses. So if you are interested in creating one, I would definitely use these as inspiration and go study them. But I know your time is valuable. Let's get straight into today's video. Hands down, the number one tool I use the most is a Chrome extension called Merlin. And this extension lets me summon ChatGPT on any website that I'm on by simply hitting Command G. And the cool thing is I can highlight any words on the tab that I'm on, hit Command G and prompt Merlin to give me an output based on the highlighted text. So I'll use Twitter as an example. If I am on Twitter and I see a tweet from a friend that I like and I wanna to respond to, all I have to do is highlight the tweet, hit Command G and then prompt Merlin to give me a witty reply to this tweet. And voila, just like that, I have an AI generated reply that's witty and relevant. If you're a big Twitter user, this will save you hours and probably improve your Twitter game. Side note, there's another cool platform I found for all you Twitter people out there. It's called tweethunter.io. And basically what this tool does is it scrapes all of your tweets and then uses AI to generate tweets that are in the same subject matter, tone, style of your tweets. So I searched my Twitter handle and I have to say it was spot on, like borderline indistinguishable from my own tweets, which is kind of freaky, but also really helpful if I'm not feeling creative one morning. So if you're a Twitter person, check it out if that's up your alley. All right, moving on to the next tool that I use, and this is going to be ChatGPT directly into your text messaging app on your phone. So if you're a WhatsApp user, your tool is called God in a Box. And if you're an iMessage user, your tool is called BFF. I will link all of these tools in the description below. But the idea is simple. When you sign up for this service, you get a text message and that's it's basically a text message from ChatGPT. And now you have a new text message thread from ChatGPT. You can then text them any prompt that you want, and then it will reply in text message form the result of that prompt. So say you're in a group chat with some friends, someone sends a long message that you wanna to reply to, you just copy that message, go over to your text thread with ChatGPT, say, hey, write me a response, paste the message, and it'll write you a reply to that message. Then you copy, paste it back over natively all within WhatsApp. So. This is really, really helpful and will save you tons of time when texting friends, family, or even coworkers. Now, I haven't actually used this one. I think the BFF was on a wait list, so I couldn't actually get access to it. And I don't use WhatsApp. So you guys are gonna have to experiment, but I did find these and a lot of the reviews were solid. So go check those out. I'm pretty sure the WhatsApp one is active and ready for anybody to use. And another side note, if you're like me, you have like five different social media platforms, three different texting apps, Discord, and random other platforms that have a messaging system and checking all these platforms on like a daily basis is virtually impossible, which results in me missing like really important messages. So my friend Gronk Wizard actually showed me a website called texts.com, which compiles all of your messaging platforms into like one simple to navigate user interface, which is a game changer for me. This means I have my text messages, Instagram DMs, Discord messages, Twitter, WhatsApp, all in one place, which is extremely helpful. It's not an AI tool, but it's still, like I said, a big game changer for me. Again, this one, you're gonna be put on a wait list as well. But once you get access to it, I promise you it's going to change your life. And again, guys, I just want to be as clear as possible. I am not affiliated with any of these companies. I am not getting paid to talk about any of these tools on the channel and are genuinely just tools that I have found useful in my day to day life. So if any of them are of value to you and you end up using them, all I ask is that you just click the like button on this channel and then send this video to a friend so we can all get better together. Now, this next one has a slightly niche use case, but has been extremely helpful for our internal team. I have actually started a Brett in Espanol YouTube channel, meaning all of my videos are going to be translated and there's going to be a Spanish version on that channel. If you're interested, there are a few videos on it. You can go check it out. But basically my friend, Eddie Bauer, who actually does 
the voice dubbing for that channel, has been using this tool called Hugging Face YouTube Whisperer, which basically transcribes my videos and makes a script of my videos, and then he translates it into Spanish using another AI tool. So it's super simple, yet super helpful for a niche use case like that. He can take any YouTube video, it'll write the script word for word how I said it in the video, and then he can just put it in a translator and then read that to do the voice dubbing. Or you could just be like YouTuber Andrew Cartwright, who copied my script word for word and made the exact same video. I take it as a compliment, Andrew. I'm glad I could inspire you. But guys, another side note, if you are actually someone who like wants to grow a social media platform around AI using repurposed content, I'm going to actually put all the high res full length files of my videos and the shorts that my team edits for me in a Google Drive that's accessible for anyone to freely use my content on any platform. Just put my name or the Brett way in the description and you're free to use it however you please, whether it's TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, whatever you want to do, it's your world. I'll eventually be doing a giveaway for people that do this down the line, but for now, you can find the link to those files in the description below the video. All right, now the last but potentially the most impactful tool that literally just came out is going to be the Chrome extension called Web Chat GPT, which essentially lets you augment Chat GPT prompts with relevant results from the web. So many of you may know that Chat GPT is actually limited to information before 2021, meaning anything after 2021, it doesn't know because it hasn't been trained on yet. But this extension adds relevant web results to your prompts to Chat GPT for more accurate and up to date conversations. And what I love about this extension is that it is a simple widget overlay of the existing Chat GPT user interface. So, what this means simply is if you have the extension installed, there's going to be this new widget that pops up. And all you have to do is turn on the switch that says search on the web. Then you can choose what dates you want it to search for and what country you want this information from, which is mind blowing. So, it's super simple yet super powerful. And these are genius AI businesses that you could kind of take inspiration of and start yourself. But to the creator of this tool, we salute you. Thank you for the excellent tool. But guys, that's it for today's videos. If there are any tools you have been using that have been very helpful in your day to day life, I would love to hear about them in the comment section below this video or even join our free AI Discord server where I interview AI business founders. On top of that, it's a great place full of like minded people who are sharing their new AI discoveries. But other than that, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one.